What up, Wolfpack? It's your boy Amari, back again with another reaction video, and today we're getting into a League song, specifically a KDA song by the name of Villain. This song does not seem to have all of the members of KDA on it, based on the title. Uh, the only two singers are Madison Beer and uh, Kim Petra, I believe. It doesn't have the G Idol girls and um, forgetting somebody. Burn, I, I don't know. You, you get the point. Not everybody from KDA is in this song. So I'm interested to see how this song goes. I got a lot of requests for this song, but I was gone for a while. I'm back now. We're doing the song. Hopefully you guys still want to see it. Without further ado, we're going to get into it. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Definitely make sure to comment down any recommendations that you have below, and I will see you guys on the other side. Peace. Okay, so um, that was great. <laughs> like <laughs> already, um, that I didn't expect the intro to come in that high, given the song is called "Villain," but KD is like a K-pop group, so it's not like too surprising. But um, the descent down into the the bass notes, like that darker, ooh, that was good. Uh, speaking of descent, that's kind of like a villainous character arc, you know. You, you start out as just a comedian, and then you have one bad day, and you turn into clown prince of crime. The descent down into the bass notes, they changed the effects that they were using on it. So the on the higher, lighter notes, they had a lot of reverb on each individual synth pluck uh, or synth note, and it gave it like a very like weightless light feathery kind of effect with like a, a whisper around each note and then as they came down they i'm saying like i'm talking about the lead obviously i'm not talking about the the rhythmic like backing melody as the lead came down into those like more bassy gritty notes they distorted them and it became like like not 8-bit but like in that same kind of vein of like crunchy notes really good really good already I, I like it already to the grave I'll go. Okay, so the percussion is very interesting in this because it's it's so clearly mixed way in the back with the exception of that like snare that they use like an open snare with a snap with like a lot of reverb on it. I, I've explained what reverb is on this channel countless times before, so I'm just I'm not going to explain what that is. There's a lot on this song by the way, on the, the vocals, on the composition, it's, just, it's everywhere. But that snare gives like a water droplet kind of effect. Like, you know, when like in a movie, it'll be like a quiet scene or an intense scene, and then you hear like a water droplet come off of a faucet or a leaky pipe or whatever the case may be. Um, that's what that percussive element sounds like. And it's very like eerie. And the, the rest of the, the uh, percussion is mixed way back in the back. The hat has the a lot of the highs trimmed off of it. So it's like ch -ch 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 -ch, almost giving a shaker kind of effect. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's go. Okay, uh, uh, boy, the, okay, let's start with the vocals, because I have less to say about that. Lots of reverb, like, so, so ambient, like, so, just, just, you know, floating through space, very, um, airy, 
and then contrasting that with as the the song broke down which we'll get to in a second um it, it went back into that like it's almost like a melodic rapping style that she's doing it's it's almost rhythmic first and then melodic and that's very interesting especially for a singer like Madison Beer who can actually really sing like yeah she's a pop star but like girl got pipes um so that was that was that contrast like it's just there's already lots of contrast light dark in this song so that's great the the production the synth was like almost like halloweeny like you know how mike myers halloween the, the scary movies and and that was creepy and then it broke down into some dun 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 like that that was that was crazy at this point i'm not sure that that's even the same that might be two separate synths that are just from the same family of instruments i mean i guess all synths are from the same family of instruments duh but you get what i'm saying like two closely related synths um that they're having mirror that light and dark yeah so so creepy and that's that's good i mean one if you're you know edgy like me but two like for the purpose of the theme of this song that goes really well with this and the visuals are stunning that like her dragging her claws down like that that pillar and whatever that like winding metal looking thing was that's just oh oh so so good right you done it again Okay, this song is hard. Like this, this song is hard, bro. Like I, I say that for all of the riot songs, not all of them, but most of them. But like, bro, they're they're, uh, uh, song is so good. Um, where do I even start on that? The um, what what is that like? Like out of tune synth that they had was so creepy and ominous. Uh, that's by the way that is one of the ways that they make things sound creepy and and ominous and and jarring in the sound design and the compositions for like horror movies they purposely uh tune them out of tune not like so far that you're like this sounds trash but like just off enough that your brain is like something is off here this is this is wrong what's going on this isn't supposed to be like this, which is the whole point of the movies. So um, that was probably really loud to you guys. Sorry, but yeah, that was that was a really smart choice right there. That like, or the the that's that's not even the sound. What, what was that? It was like a pa. There we go. Um, when the the smoke formed like that purple heart and then like exploded. That was that was dope. So far, this song is it's like really really interesting which is it's funny because the percussion is very much mixed in the back but all of the elements of the song even down to the vocal performance are very rhythmic kind of filling that space yeah very good all right let's go Sorry, I just thought of the, the last thing I was going to say in the last section, but I didn't. There was a like a like a static element used as a percussive element. And, and at that point, it was the snare a little while ago. What made me think of that that I didn't say um, was just now they switched that out with like a, a glass breaking sound. It was right before that chandelier smashes on the ground i'm not gonna go back because like this is already gonna be super long but if you go back to that section right before that you can hear it very distinctly it's happening throughout this section but you can hear it really distinctly where there isn't that much 
other stuff happening. So, yeah, cool. That car is nice. That reminds me of um, Dom's car from Fast and Furious. this song is great okay um the visuals of this this video all right because i'm just talking about the music so far the visuals are fantastic like oh my god when the car went from the the purple like matte paint to uh snake skin or snake scales snakes don't have skin snake scales and then into liquid and then into like fabric oh my god that's that's oh, nut also the uh, vocal performance got more dynamic in that section it went from being that like melodic rappy type thing that i was talking about before to not only adding more uh, harmonization via uh, vocal stacks, that might actually be the other singer Kim in that section, but adding uh, higher notes, a little bit of falsetto way in the background, really good. And then like it went into like the snake thing in her eyes. Is snakes a part of Evelyn's like character? Comment that down below. Cause I know she has like the, uh, what do I call them? Tentacles? Like I don't, I don't, I didn't want to call them tentacles, but like that's what they are. You know, like the little like, fabricy things with blades at the end but i don't know if like in some alternate version of her she's like a gorgon or orochimaru or something using snakes i don't i don't know but yeah lots of snake imagery it may just be that snakes are commonly associated with you know evil and the devil and the song's called villain she's a villain whatever i just answered my own question but um yeah the snake imagery in the eye and now on her hand it's just it's uh, Chef's kiss, it's, it's amazing. Time to make you cry, time to put a price all up on your head. Do just what I said. I'm a straight up villain, straight up villain. Get no villain, get no villain. Straight up villain, straight up villain. Get no villain, get no villain. But I'm dead, you know what's up in your head. Watch your face full of dread till you go. Fun. No, don't. No. I'll go back. Ugh. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Early on in the second chorus, they had a backing vocal that was Madison's voice, but it was tuned down into like a very deep, like evil sounding kind of uh, backing vocal. And then um they transitioned into like that smoky scene where she's like coming through at first i thought she was like coming through like rubber but then it she might have been rubber with all the texture changes in this uh and then it was like smoke and the vocals were very again light but they were very like raspy in the background again just adding different levels of texture this is like whatever like asmr is to your ears that's what this is to like all of your senses like this is like a, a an experience and then they went into i think it's the chorus we're gonna hear it again because i went back but there's a like a million other like voices i would i would hate to be the person who had to mix all of this because this i know the vocal stack for this song let alone like this section let alone this song is insane there has to be like a hundred different vocal takes on this song because in that section alone there was a bunch of different versions there was like one that was uh that had like vocal fry on it so it was like the uh but it was still singing the the lyrics there was another one that was the um the the evil like deep dark one there was a higher one that was like a falsetto the uh which is similar to the one or based you know what now that i'm explaining it in that section they basically took all of the different kinds of vocals that they had 
um, like doing backing vocals throughout the course of the song and stack them and then pan them all around you so it sounds like like almost like a, I don't know schizophrenic episode or something like the movie split there's just like a, a bunch of different versions of Madison or Evelyn or whatever in all these different alternate sounding versions like surrounding you saying whatever it is I think she says insane in in the same I don't know some something and whatever whatever that was crazy okay we're gonna, gonna hear it again Hey, that's a way to end it. Oh, this is so hard. That intro is so hard. Okay, um, lots and lots of creepy elements in that song. From like even on like the last bridge into the last chorus or the bridge into the last chorus the creepy like laughter happening around you the vocal fry effect on one of them the super deep dark like demon voice um the the static percussive elements the glass breaking percussive elements the uh, water droplet snare the light to dark synth. There's just like so many, just from a, a sonic standpoint, so many, cre oh, the Halloween-y sounding synth. Um, there was just like so many creepy, dark, eerie sounding elements to this song. And so I don't know which came first, like the idea for this song or if the actual song um, came, like the, the composition came first, but regardless, they did a masterful job at like, portraying the point of this song. Sonically, like if I'm just, it, you know, if I turn my brain off and just listen to the song, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite KDA song. It might not even be top three, but it is a great theme song. Like it, it really, almost better than any, probably better than any other KDA song because like the theme is so tangible and so real and they, they executed on that basically at every opportunity. Some of the stuff they did, I wouldn't have done if I was making the, the song, but I mean, who am I? I'm filming this in my room and they're making hit songs. But um, there are certain choices that they, they like cr certain creative choices that they made that I wouldn't have personally made as the nature of art. But the song itself is like undoubtedly just, just like very well done. And so I'll be surprised if anyone who has a musical background, especially in like the, the behind the glass musical uh, background, you know, the, the sound engineering, the mixing, mastering, like all, all of that aspects and uh, the production aspects as well. If someone would be like, oh, this song is trash. Like they you may not like it, but like, I would want to know why. If you feel that way and you, like for any reason, if you have a musical background or not, let me know what you think about the song, especially if you dislike the song, and please tell me why. This is very interesting, because I think they killed the concept of that. And um, the visuals were like literally orgasmic. Like that, yeah, they, Riot always kills on the visuals, but sonically, really great. Madison did great. That's not like her greatest vocal performance ever, but it was good. And again, it really got across the message of the song. So overall, thumbs up for me on Villain by KDA. I'm excited to hear like more of the, the Riot songs and KDA songs. So definitely make sure to recommend some more songs for me down below and I will get to them as 
expeditiously as I can. And I will see all of you guys on this channel later. So definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And have a great day, guys. Peace.